These diatoms were collected from a river, cleaned, and then mounted on a slide. It is easier to make observations of the diatoms because most of the debris has been removed. Now the patterns of the shells can be seen clearly. These diatoms were collected from a slightly polluted river. What kind of diatoms would you see from a cleaner river or from a more polluted river? Here, domestic waste flows into the polluted water of sewage canals. The bubbles are formed from detergent released into the water. Attached to the surface of the riverbed rocks is an abundance of grayish-brown bacteria called spherotillus. The bacterial mat resembles dirty mop heads. Could there be diatoms in this type of water? Let's collect and clean a sample of this water and view it under a microscope. Yes, even in such severely polluted water, diatoms are able to exist. And now, let's see what kinds of diatoms inhabit clean water. This is a clean mountain stream. The water is very clear, isn't it? What kinds of diatoms live in this type of water? Diatoms from the clean water sample come in a variety of shapes, including oval, circular, and linear. In contrast, the severely polluted water contains fewer shapes. Diatoms can exist in a variety of aquatic environments. The environmental conditions determine which diatom species are present. Next, we will compare the diatoms from three sources. The severely polluted water of the sewage canal, the slightly polluted river water, and the clean mountain stream water. First, we will look at the diatoms from the severely polluted water. Their shapes are generally the same. In the slightly polluted river water, several shapes are present, including oval and crescent. And finally, the clean water diatoms. In this water, a wide variety of sizes and shapes are found. In other words, many different species of diatoms live in this water. From this experiment, we can see that water quality can be assessed according to the variety of diatoms that live there. Diatoms are the most common photosynthetic aquatic microorganisms. Diatoms are present in rivers, and they also live in other aquatic environments like ponds, lakes, wetlands, and oceans. In addition to the sessile species of diatoms, which are attached to rocks, there are also many free-living species. These species can be collected by using a plankton net. The ocean provides the largest habitat for diatoms. Marine diatom species are completely different from freshwater species. Tidal flats also provide a home for many species of diatoms. Diatoms can be found almost anywhere water is present. They can even be found in household aquariums where it's often diatoms that form the brownish scum on the walls. The shells of diatoms are truly works of art. Through photosynthesis, diatoms produce a large amount of oxygen and carbon-based energy in the aquatic environment. They are also useful for evaluating aquatic environments. 
Although an individual diatom is very small, on the whole, diatoms play a very important role in the dynamics of the biosphere.